praise the Lord, magnify his name, glorify him, God is wonderful, man. God not only admonishes us, but he also tells us how to live. You know, in every admonishment of God, there's a particular thing that is telling you how to conduct your life. When God tells you a thing, check again, check the details of what he's saying. Because in virtually every situation, he gives direction. There is a direction that is embedded in what he's speaking to you about. Thank God for God. Bless him always. Today we are going to read John's Gospel, chapter 10, verse 10. John 10, verse 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. There is no thief that goes anywhere where he will not get anything. He said the thief entered that compound and there is not a pin in that compound. What is the thief looking for? And the compound is of no value whatsoever that even if it was to destroy, there is nothing to destroy. There is nobody there that he will kill. What is the thief looking for there? Nothing. He won't come there. Let's get what he's saying. Before the thief comes to you, there is something he can steal from you. There is your destiny that he can destroy. There is your life, that, that basic life of yours that he can kill. That is why the thief comes. You know the instruction, the admonition, the direction that God is giving? You have what the thief is looking for. Take care of it. You won't have a bag of money and keep it by the veranda of your house and go into sleep. Or keep it on the roadside and say, I'll come and pick it up later. You know the value of that thing. You take it in and make sure you secure it so that nobody can have access to it, unlawful access. Why would you put your life out so that the thief can come and destroy? Why would you put your things out so the thief will come and steal? This thing is telling us, be careful. God is saying, I have given you life, and I have given you everything that pertains to life and godliness. Don't keep it carelessly. As he says, I came that I will give them life more abundantly. Those that the thief had already put in their control, Jesus came and redeemed them. That's the one that we say we are born again. We belong to God. But after he has redeemed you, what happens? Will you carry your things and keep them outside? The thief will collect. Am robbers came to your house and stole things. Somehow the police happened by. And they were able to get your things back for you. And you leave them outside and go inside to sleep because you have gotten back your things. That's a foolish man. You celebrate so much, I've gotten back everything. And in your foolishness, you might even engage in drinking. And by the time you have gotten drunk, you lie down there and sleep. By the time you wake up, will you find the things? God has procured your life for you by the blood of Jesus. God has procured everything for you by the same Jesus. He said, if he will freely give you Jesus, what else will he deny you? He has not denied you everything. But are you taking care of the things? Are you taking care of your life? Have you allowed the thief to come and take and in this case, the thief is not forcing you. You are doing it by yourself. God redeemed you from sin. Are you going back to the path of sin? Because the thief will get you there. That is how to keep your things outside. The life you lived before, have you gone back to that life? The thief will get you. I know that this is, there's a story that you don't need to change your life. You just be the same person. God has accepted you. It doesn't matter. No. The scripture says the life that I lived. I leave that no more. Who I was, I no longer am that person. If your own is still the same, all same, what's in it? You have not really changed anything. You have merely given yourself a title, which is unto nothing. Have you left your things open for the thief to carry? It is time to... Be conscious of the fact that God has procured your life for you. Because he created you, the devil took you. 
but he procured you, got you back. Don't allow the devil to take that life. He will kill you. Don't allow the devil to enter your own destiny. He will destroy it. He will steal every good that God has given to you. The realization must be understood. The thief does not go where there is no advantage for him. Have you imagined that a thief would decide to walk into a madman to go and steal? Steal what? He has no value. He's useless to the thief. He will come to you because you have value. The devil I am talking about. The devil won't go looking for a madman to do what? He will come looking for you because there is value with you. Cherish that value. Keep that value. Uphold that value. By what method? Live your life unto God. Live in righteousness. And God will pour out more coverage for you. The coverage of God will always be there for you when you keep his own direction. When you do the things that are pleasing in his sight, he will bring a coverage for you such that that thief cannot enter and steal from you. You are not that strong that you can resist the devil on your own. But with God, you are far more stronger than any devil, and nothing can come in to steal from you. That thief will pass by you and will not come to you because you have protected your own. Protected by God, and everything will work right for you. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.